Hello and welcome to this evening's wildlife special. I'm your host, Algebrid, and today we're going to examine this common house plant and just see just what it's like up close and personal. So I'm going to invade its personal space for just a moment, not too much to alarm it to recoil itself for the night. But let's just see how complex <laughs> this structure is. And my goodness, there are lots of petals in this one. <laughs> and as I zoom in closer, it's as if I'm actually living inside of the middle. <laughs> there are all sorts of small little dewdrops, and I, I seem to recall that that plant seemed to need to live on a substance called H2O. And that is um, exactly what I'm noticing here. And it's, I, I, I imagine that it must be feeling so happy as it's drinking its water right now. <laughs> Can us only imagine how it's feeling so satisfied? Also, uh, uh, I learned in my schooling not too long ago that plants also thrive on a process called photosynthesis, a process in which the plant will absorb the sunlight, or in this case, that light, and transform it into life-giving energy. <laughs> it harnesses the power of the sun in the palm of its petal. What I'm doing here is not an experiment unlike you folks can do at your own home. Just buy a simple gizmo such as this one, the Tasco 30X, <laughs> and you can examine your very own houseplants that you keep in your home, or look at your neighbors if you don't have any. Well, thank you once again for joining me for an exciting episode. Join me next week as we indulge into the depths of the fur of the common house cats, the feline. <laughs> oh.